The excitement has hardly abated here at Nationals Park after what I thought was a great team win for the guys. Jose Lobaton gets the big hit. But a lot of different guys were a part of this one today. Well, what a great crowd, first of all. I mean, this place was rocking for nine innings. Just amazing to watch here and watch everybody on their feet all game. That atmosphere here today was just absolutely electric. Tanner Roark didn't have his good stuff, but as we know with Tanner, it's more about the intangibles. Yeah. He kind of battled through, only gave up a couple of runs. And that's always about the unsung hero in October and Jose Lobatone. You know, everybody that was screaming for Pedro Severino to play today, that's why Dusty Baker makes a couple million dollars <laughs> managing, and that's why you do what you do. Yeah, and, you know, back to Lobatone FP, because of the great season Wilson Ramos had, he really didn't have many right-handed bat at-bats at all. So for him to jump up and do something like this is really amazing. Yeah, I just talked to him. He was sitting on the curveball. I mean, he sat on it the first time up with the bases loaded. So as a player, when you start a big game and you have bases loaded and you don't come through, man, you have a tendency to press. You're wondering if this is going to be one of those tough days for him. And was everybody right that Pedro Severino should have started today? But he sat on the curveball again. Yeah. He just told me. He got a big, fat curveball from Hill, hit it out of the ballpark, and the rest, as they say, is history. And closers never know when they're going to work. We talked to Mark Melanson before the game you know those guys can go for a week without getting out there plus the end of the season the four day layoff it had been a while so that was huge for him huge for him to get out there and get the job done you could see the last three innings the hitters couldn't see anything so that had to give Melanson a lot of confidence going into the ninth you saw some funny swings a lot of check swings the shadows played a role but what a huge win for the Nationals a happy flight to Los Angeles yeah. you have the momentum now it's all you have to do is win one game in LA and you have game five back here so Needless to say, a huge win today. It seems like almost another lifetime since you were standing just a few feet away from where we are right now, and you're interviewing Jason Worth, who's shaking with adrenaline after his walk-off homer. I asked him about that. It seems so long ago, four years, but that was an unbelievable moment. And today's the first time the Nats won a home playoff game since that night. Well, he's meant for October. He's a winner. You know, he's nine times in 13 years in the playoffs. This is just another game for him. So it was good to see him have a big game today. Good to see the ball club win. And it, like you said, to start this whole thing, it was a serious team effort. All right, guys, the Nats are back even. That means at least two games in L.A. and maybe one back here as well. So what a great day. What a huge win for the Nats. And it's on to Dodger Stadium.